Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes, and welcome to something just a little bit different that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I just figured, why don't we just kind of record one anyways, and we'll see how it goes. And so what I'm trying to record today is the, the adventures uh, at my work. And so I just wanted to kind of tell you guys almost in the vlog-like environment of kind of the interesting people I come across on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and so, you know, I figured that every once in a while that I would just kind of update you on and some people that, you know, just, they kind of just, they're a little unique in how they want to treat people, uh, you know, like in a, in a store or something. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, here's the story of the Star Wars man. Uh, let's jump into it. Alright, so welcome back. Like I was saying, the story of the Star Wars man, and now that's what I'm gonna call him, only because using real names is not really important, and to be honest, uh, it's been a while, so I already forgot his name. But here's the story. So, uh, in the store I work at, and I'll just reference it as the store, um, we happened to get a new shipment of Christmas ornaments already. And I know what some of you are thinking, like, what? You already have Christmas stuff out? You'd be surprised. Probably look at Target in the next couple of weeks and all the other ones. They probably already have stuff. Um, anyways, uh, these Star Wars toys or these Star Wars ornaments are unique in regards to if you have them all, uh, they tell a story. And they pretty much tell you the story uh, of the Battle of the Death Star. And so each one lights up and it has a great old time. And it is really cool once you see the store display kind of doing its thing when someone clicks on it, but this gentleman was very angry that we happened to be out of one of the, the five pieces you needed. Uh, to be fair, when he walked in, he was kind of okay and calm, and, and he kind of went to the back and didn't really say uh, you know anything to us, and, and he picked up a ton of them. I mean, a ton of them as in like $309 <laughs> worth of ornaments, and comes to the front again and this is where it kind of like you know snap your finger it changed he goes you know hello i'm here to to buy these ornaments and i noticed that you're missing one of them and you know i was kind of in the back listening to this and you know the the person at the front was like oh yeah you know um we're actually out of that one and, and so of course he does the natural all right well do you have any in the back stock of course <laughs> no uh, as far as these Christmas ornaments, we bought pretty much the allotment, and the allotment came with X amount of ornaments, and what you see is what you got. There is no extra. Then again, you know, we, we go ahead and say, you know, can, can you know, uh, no, sir, what you, what you see on the shelf is, is not there. And he's like, well, I don't see this one. <laughs> again, at this point, I whatever reason, he wasn't getting it. We, we again, we, I mean, the person at the front reassures him, like, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry. It just, it means we're out. Logical questions he thought to ask is, well, when are you going to get more? Again, this question, because it was an allotment, as in we bought, you know, this order, it comes with, as I was saying, X amount of things, we couldn't tell him we could just order that individual item because we didn't know if we could, or if even if the store was going to. Again, we let him know, like, you know, we're so sorry, um, we're, we're not really sure. And then he, he lost it. I mean, he just... He started yelling, and I'm not even like talking like racist voice. No, I mean like he was yelling, and he's like, "This is so crazy! I can't believe you don't have this one item. I'm here buying, you know, hundreds of dollars worth of ornaments, and, and why can't you just, you know, almost he's like he was trying to tell me like just go poop one out." <laughs> you know, I was gonna, and he's like, "Wow, I don't understand why you can't give me this one ornament." Um, and and we didn't really know what to, you know, kind of just smile. And like, All right, at this point, I, I you know, I. Heard him yelling, and I went ahead and went to the front to see kind of what was going on. Um, and he just he couldn't fathom the fact that, you know, we, we didn't have it. And, you know, he's like, I've been coming here for X amount of years, and, and I can't believe this service. <laughs> and we're just like, again, we're helpless at this point because, you know, anything we thought of, you know, to try to, you know, give him, like, reassurance, like, hey, you know, we're so sorry, it didn't seem to work. I mean, and he started just screaming. He, he was just doing, like... <laughs> He's throwing a tantrum, right? In all honesty, he's just throwing this big tantrum. Um, I mean, we couldn't really do anything. And then he started being really rude to my coworkers. 
And it's just no, it wasn't fun at all. Um, he he even went as bold as to say, "Well, sell me the store display." <laughs> you know, and we had to tell him, "Well, sir, you know, we we actually need the store display to <laughs> just that to display. Hey, this is what this does." And and he didn't matter. He's like, "Sell me it now, now, now." <laughs> So at this point, we got a manager, and we're like, hey, you know, and he's kind of like, hey, you know, sir, we're, we're so sorry, we can't do that, and, you know, is there anything, you know, else I can help you with? He, no, um, you know, my manager's like, you know, okay, you know, have you run, you know, have we, we helped this man out, you know, he's, has he been paid, you know, has he paid for everything, and we, yeah, yeah, and he's like, all right, and he kind of just left it at that, and the guy started, you know, just cussing under his breath as he stormed down and, and he wasn't happy <laughs> all right so that's the story of the day that's the really short version but i figured we didn't need to make these videos too long if you do like these type of videos go ahead and tell me down below i really appreciate it i do have multiple stories already that i've been making like notes as i've gone along in anticipation for these kind of vlog like videos <laughs> anyways if you work in retail, you know what I'm, I'm saying. If you don't work in retail, then, you know, this is about a day-to-day -day thing that kind of comes up. So if you are <laughs> if you don't want to work in a rude environment, don't go retail or, you know, fast food. You'll probably try an office job. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, it's it was fun after, you know, we can kind of laugh about it. But that's all I got for today. So thank you all those that have been subscribing and commenting and just, all uh, you know, all overall showing me the support. I do appreciate it. And I do hope that, you know, those that have been around for a while, you know, also know that you guys are still awesome. And, you know, I want to make sure that everyone knows, not just the new people, but everyone else, uh, the same thing. But like I was saying, that's all I got for today. So until next time, guys, as always, just keep it real.